Hello! Today's lecture will be on Building the Theoretical Framework. In this lecture, we will talk about 1. The definition of theoretical framework 2. Steps in building the theoretical framework 3. Functions of theory in the context of the theoretical framework 4. Developing a conceptual framework 5. Developing an operational framework based on your conceptual framework and finally what's the difference between your RRL section and the theoretical framework section in discussing theory stay tuned for most students the theoretical framework section is the most difficult part of the thesis but no the theoretical framework is not the stumbling block Rather, it is the foundation stone upon which the thesis is built. What is a theoretical framework? First, let's look at the two words it is made from. Theory, which explains, predicts, and helps people understand a phenomena. And framework, the structure that can hold or support the theories of your recent study. Together, the theoretical framework introduces and describes the theory and explains why the research problem under study exists that is it contextualizes the study it can also challenge and extend existing knowledge the theoretical framework is a natural extension of the literature review the purpose of the literature review amongst other things is to highlight gaps and shortcomings with the existing work in your field the theoretical framework details the perspective you take to address that gap and shortcoming. Steps in building a theoretical framework In a nutshell First, re-examine your thesis title and research problem. Second, consider the list of key variables in your research. Third, check your review of related literature to see what theories have been applied to your phenomenon. Or rather, fourth, review key mass media or journalism theories and choose the theory or theories that can best explain the relationship between the key variables in your study. And fifth, you can now build the theoretical framework. For example, step one, re-examine your thesis title and research problem. In example one, we see that the thesis title is Reporting Yolanda Examining the Scientific Content of Primetime News Programs. Research question is, how did journalists make use of scientific information in disaster reporting, specifically in the case of Typhoon Yolanda? So, we can now consider the key variables. In example one, Key variables would be primetime news programs, scientific information, and disaster reporting. In the second example, where thesis title is examining the foreign news selection of leading Philippine dailies in primetime news with research question, what are the types of foreign news in Philippine Daily Inquirer, Philippine Star, TV Patrol, and 24 Horas? Foreign news selection is a key variable. Philippine Star, Daily Inquirer, TV Patrol, and 24 Horas is another variable. Step 3. Check what theories have been applied in similar studies. For both example 1 and 2, one can consider the following media theories. Framing, agenda setting, gatekeeping, and media dependency theory. Non-media theory, especially for example one, would be the disaster risk and reduction management theory, and for example two, the organizational theory. What are the functions of theory? First, it predicts or explains your research problem. It offers a structured set of lenses through which aspects of or parts of the world can be observed, studied, or analyzed. Second, it provides a safeguard against unscientific approaches to a problem, an issue, or a theme. I have here a chart 
uh, of traditional classifications of mass communication theory that you could use to guide you to determine what theories could possibly work for the thesis you are proposing. As we can see, the topics addressed and the kinds of theory, depending on the study, addresses a particular problem or issue. Please take a while to look at this table. Now let's go to constructing a framework. After analyzing your research title, problems, objectives, decide on what framework to use. There are two types of framework, one that is text only, that is, it describes the theory and how it is used, or to make things more visual, the text, the text or the description of the theory is accompanied by a framework diagram. Some questions to ask yourself when doing a research design. Will one theory be able to explain or shape the research problem and objectives? Two, if not, how do you merge theories? Or three, how do you present the narrative and diagram or figure of the theory? Practical construction of your framework. Theoretical grouping is a simple way of illustrating a how different con constructs are underpinned by certain theories and b how the theories and constructs you are interested in may overlap. Some tips to remember. One, put each construct within a shape such as a circle or a square. Use thick line arrows rather than dotted line arrows to show the relationship between your constructs. Third, a dotted or dashed line when the constructs are more loosely coupled or tied by some other factor. Fourth, the hypotheses are expressed as H, followed by the hypothesis number. This is assuming that you have more than one hypothesis in your study. And fifth, Sometimes constructs can be grouped and the theories can underpin the relationship between those groups as illustrated in the next slide. So for example, we can see here the use of uh, the shapes and the arrows. In example one, we have a simple structural design of input process outcome with the input having a hypothesis towards the process. In example two, we have the systems theory or example one, and now we are juxtaposing it with societal influences with the shape of the rectangle with the arrow. Now let's look at it from the example of an actual thesis. In this example, we're using the thesis title examining the foreign news selection of leading Philippine dailies and primetime news. The research question here is what are the types of foreign news in Daily Inquirer, Philippine Star, TV Patrol, and 24 Horas? The first theory that has been adopted for this study is McQuail's theory on media as an institution, which takes into account all forces that affect media's performance. For example, advocacy or government or cultural groups, advertisers, owners and or sources of information, and finally the audience. So it specifically it looks at who or what influences media organizations and how this affects its production of the news. Example 2 or theory 2 of the same research would be selective gatekeeping. Of the development of the gatekeeping from the original theory, this study adopts Galtung and Rouge selective gatekeeping which suggests that news from around the world are evaluated using news values to determine their newsworthiness. And finally, Basic theory number three is the agenda setting or the McCombs and Shaw theory which simply states that the issue given most attention by the media will be perceived as the most important. 
These theories will be combined for the study of examining the foreign news selection of the leading Philippine dailies in primetime news. When combined, the integrated theoretical framework could look like this. The theoretical the integrated theoretical framework shows how media content is shaped by pressures to the media organization, selective gatekeeping, and agenda setting. Based on the aforementioned example, how should you write up the theoretical framework? First, to specify the theories used as basis for the study, mention the proponents of the theories, cite the main points emphasized by the theories, support the explanation of the theory by ideas from other experts, illustrate the theoretical framework by means of a diagram, and finally, discuss how the theories together are being applied to your study. Then, from there, one works on the conceptual framework. After formulating the theoretical framework, the researcher has to develop the conceptual framework of the study. A concept is an image or symbolic representation of an abstract idea. Chin and Kramer define a concept as a complex mental formulation of experience. While the theoretical framework is the theory on which the study is based, the conceptual framework is the first step in the operationalization of the theory. Aside from showing the direction of the study through the conceptual framework, the researcher can be able to show the relationships of the different constructs that he wants to investigate. For example, we have here the conceptual framework where pressures and constraints include news values, the pressures and constraints shape newspapers and television newscasts. Then we have the results of this relationship in the selective reporting of events. Finally, we have the operation, operational framework wherein foreign news selection of Philippine newspapers and foreign news segments of television newscasts are shaped by the media environment, the audience, the owners, editorial policies, and the advertisers. Thus, the criteria for selection also affects the foreign news coverage. These factors result in unequal treatment of stories and pave the way for the dominance of some topics and of some regions in foreign news coverage of media. So based on the foregoing example, how should the conceptual framework be formulated? First, cite your conceptual framework or paradigm, identify your variables, point out the dependent and intervening variables, and show the direction of the study. Once the conceptual framework has been determined, the next step for the researcher is to determine what research methods to employ to best answer the research pro problem through the proposed framework. To summarize, what should you include and where should you include it? In the review of related lit, you include the description and definition of the theory or theories, the background of the theory or theories, who are its originators, and what are they trying to prove. The subsequent development or applications of the theory, especially as pertains to the use in your study. In the theoretical framework, you repeat the description of the theory by paraphrasing your RRL. Then you discuss how the theory is to be used in your study. And finally, the model, starting with the original model of the theory, if any, and the model in which you will be applying the theory in your study. Well, I hope this helps you in your theoretical framework challenge. And good luck with the rest of your thesis. For more, please subscribe to this channel.